Hello, dear ones. This is Friday, January 24. I'm Sister Jean. Today's scriptures and celebration of St. Francis de Sales are all about men. Some very special individual men who do some pretty amazing things with their lives. Oh yes, we have one woman today, the friend of Francis who figures prominently in his eventual achievement of sanctity. Her name is Jane de Chantal, also a canonized saint of our church. Both of them reached great heights and depths in the spiritual life, culminating in the founding of a long line of visitation nuns. That's an example of the cloistered or enclosed religious life. Remember, I'm a sister, not a nun. I'm out there in the world with you. The first reading about King David's rising from his dislike for Saul's behavior and letting the latter live when he could easily have hurt him, that's amazing as I have said, that David could show mercy to that decree, degree. A good man indeed. And Saul isn't such a bad guy either. When he recognizes David's strength of character for sparing him, saying, may the Lord reward you generously for what you have done this day. And now I know that you shall surely be king. The Gospel is basically a listing of the 12 men Jesus picked to help him in ministry. That they might be with him and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. Let us get back to that 16th century Francis. Evidently, he was quite a guy in his own right. From a rich Swiss family but also very desirous to give his life to God. A similar story with that of that other Francis of Assisi. It seems God agreed with the idea because one day Francis de Sales fell off his horse three times and each time his sword and scabbard formed a cross on the ground, as the legend goes. Eventually, his dream was realized. He became a priest, then a bishop of his home region, Geneva, and tried to win back the Calvinists to Catholicism using the written word, which is how he was named the patron of journalists. When he was 43, he and Jane founded that visitation order I mentioned earlier. Francis is especially famous for two more achievements. His conclusion that all people are called to union with God, not just professional religious, and his spiritual guide called Introduction to the Devout Life. Francis presented God as a lover within reach of ordinary persons. What is our lesson? Reach out. God is there for you every day in prayer and in your life. Amen. Let it be. Thank you for partnering with WordNet. Now we have an easy and fun way of making your donations to WordNet. Use the number that is on the screen to text your amount and follow the on-screen instructions. Thank you very much and be blessed always.